On this slide, we're going to be talking about rotary dial telephones. The rotary dial telephone, just like any other phone, is connected back to the switch using two wires. One wire is called a tip, the other wire is called a ring. On the ring side, we have NEG48 volts DC, which is supplied by the switch, along with 85 volts AC used for ringing when the telephone call is coming in. For DC voltage, which is 48 volts DC, there's no DC current flowing through this line when the phone is on hook because there's a switch inside of the phone that opens the line so there's no current flow. But once you go off hook, you close that circuit within the phone allowing current to flow from the switch right through the telephone and back to the switch. On the return path, when this current enters into the switch, switch will see that as an off-hook condition, it places dial tone on the line. Well, once the subscriber gets dial tone, the subscriber will know it's time to dial. Now, this happened really quickly. As you know, you pick up the line, you got dial tone, but these are the sequence of events that has to occur in order to get dial tone. Well, on the rotary dial telephone, in order to dial, you got to put your index finger in any one of the slots and bring it right around to the metal barrier. Once you get to the metal barrier, you have to re you can't go any further, so you release the dial pad and it rotates all the way back to the original position. Let's say we dial the number one, for instance. You place your finger into the one slot you bring it down to the metal barrier and you release. On the way back from the metal barrier to the one slot, it's gonna hit one switch. And when it hits that switch, the switch opens and closes the line really quickly within a fraction of a second. This is called an interruption. This interruption, what it does, it opens the line for that split second, it stops the current flow back to the switch. The switch detects this as a digit being dialed. So for every interruption, the switch detects as one digit being dialed. So in the case of one switch being under here on the return path from the metal barrier to the one position, it hits one switch interrupting the line one time so the switch detects this as the number one being dialed. If I dial the number two, there will be two interruptions. So on the return path from the metal barrier back to the two position, you're gonna come into contact with two switches, opening and closing the circuit two times. So this is stopping the flow of current twice back to the switch. This is not enough to drop the line, by the way. This is just enough to disrupt the flow of current so that the switch know that you have just dialed a digit. So in this case, the switch will know you have just dialed the number two because there are two switches back there opening the line two times. Now, if you dial the number five, on the way back to the number five position, you're gonna hit five switches, opening and closing the line five times so the switch knows you've just dialed the number five. And that's how rotary dial telephone works. It is based on interruptions between the phone and the switch. If this video was helpful to you and you would like to see more of this content free on YouTube, please click the subscribe button below so that you'll be informed and have access to our new video releases each week.